Hey guys, welcome back to All On In Law. In this video, I'm going to talk about the important points about sarcoidosis. Okay, so sit back and just listen to the important points. So in your USMLE Step 2CK examination, or even in Step 1, so remember the case, the history presentation is really very important and when you should think of sarcoidosis. So if the patient is a black, okay, black, female, black, female, okay, and young, that's nearly what you call less than 40 years, presenting with a chest symptom like cough, right, weight loss, dyspnea, chest pain, then you should think of sarcoidosis as an option. Okay, right? Black, female, less than 40 with the chest symptoms. Right? Good. So what are the other important points regarding the sarcoidosis? The one is the non-caseating granulomas. Very important is the non-caseating granulomas. Then the skin lesions. The patient will have the skin lesions. In USMLE examination, they usually give the chest symptoms and the skin lesions. You have to think of sarcoidosis, okay? And chest involvement in the form of hilar adenopathy and pulmonary infiltrates. Okay? Right? Okay, good. So the history presentation in the USMLE examination will be the chest symptoms in the form of cough, dyspnea, chest pain, fever, okay? and malaise, weight loss, arthritis sometimes, and even the skin lesions are really very important in the form of tender red nodules on the skin, on the shin and the arms, remember, okay? Tender red nodules, they are tender, remember. Red nodules on the shins, okay, and the arms. Sometimes these patients can present with a vision loss and some cranial loss palsy. All right? Okay. Lymphadenopathy is a really very important point. Try to look for that also. Okay? So what are the investigations you, you, you see in these patients? What are the lab investigations you see? Is one is the most important is increased ACE. -S. What's that? Nothing but angiotensin converting enzyme right the other important points that you should look for in your USM examination is yes it's a calcium it's a calcium right and because the blood calcium level is raised in these patients and the calcium is excreted through the kidneys so it's a hypercalciuria hypercalciuria okay and the other enzymes that are increased in this is alkaline phosphatase and what you call ESR, right? The WBC will be low in these, remember, okay, WBC will be low, right? Good. If you do the pulmonary function test, it shows a decreased FVC and decreased DLCO. F, V, C, and D, L, C, O. Right? Look at this. Pulmonary function test in a patient with a sarcoidosis shows low or decreased F, V, C, and decreased D, L, C, O. Right? Got it, guys? Very important points. Okay. What happens if you take a chest x-ray? What do you see? Of course, bilateral hilar adenopathy. Bilateral hilar adenopathy. Right? and even pulmonary infiltrates. That's known as a ground glass appearance. Okay? Right. How will you treat it? What's the treatment? Sometimes, you know, rarely they are self-resolving. And if it's a chronic, then you have to go ahead with the corticosteroids. Steroids, corticosteroids. Okay? And if the disease is very severe, you can go ahead with the lung transplantation got it yes okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video please do subscribe to our video take care